it's actually it's a two-year program um so it's a two-year program that comes around every two years and it's enrollment coming up this fall so I, honestly, I wish the best for you thank you and it's something I take a lot of enjoyment in reading a lot of books talking to people just oh talking about yeah like that, that, so. just my opinion is do what you enjoy mm -hmm. like I know Matt Damon was on an interview and it was like well, how do you feel like you're in such a competitive environment for a job? And I was like, I'm competitive about it because I love what I do. You think teachers honestly do what they do for the pimp for the money? Mm -hmm. no, no, they no, do no. it because they love teaching. Precisely. Because the pay is garbage. Yeah, and I know, like, talking to Tyler, like, uh, he's not doing it for the pay. He's doing it because when he went for his little, um, or they went for his okay. practicum and he talked to, to, talk to people. He talked and they, like, they yeah. liked him. He enjoyed teaching them. Okay, I don't need to do a sync, so. Sure. File one, file two, file one, file two, file one. That's is that the usual delay, or is it a little longer? It's usual delay. It seemed pretty close, but it was, I'm not. I couldn't really judge because I don't really. I, I, even though I do this quite a bit myself with you, I don't do it all the time, so I can't. Yeah, no, it it's. Top of my head. I haven't been recording nearly as much as I need to. That's all right. Um, when do you want to start the recording? Uh, we'll start it at the. When we get to World 3, I just want to remember where the Amiibo hut is. Sure, so you can change yourself. Yeah. That's fine. It's... Mm -hmm. Actually, I joined a free company on Final Fantasy XIV, oh. which is basically a guild. Right. But it's for a YouTube channel I like. I want to be pit. Oh, neat. And um, I didn't know they, they had... The, was it for Final Fantasy, like the current one, or the very, very first one? Uh, the the newest MMO. Oh, the MMO. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, it's it's fun. It, it's an MMO, so it has MMO problems. But, but it has MMO benefits, too. So Yeah, like the peak group I'm in, like a bunch of them have already been playing the game for months, if not years. Mm -hmm. So they, they have really high-level characters, and we're just like, no, let's just have fun. Let's get some new people involved. Yeah. Um, that actually reminds me a bit of, like, I've been playing, like, you know, Dota's one of my things. I really enjoy, um, what we what's going on in Dota, because there's a new patch. Where oh, cool. Where there's, like, the game's constantly updating, and it's kind of neat, because it's, like, sometimes there's, like, certain heroes you pick and you do not pick because they're in the meta or they're not, and it kind of gets a bit stagnant. But with this, there's, like... They got they, they he changed the balance he changed a lot of the things in the map he added new items he just basically turned everything on its head so it's really neat because there's certain things there's like oh god this is just reality before and like whoa this is actually better now or oh hey this guy got got he got a bit nerfed but the thing is he's always about balance and it's like the guy who made the game so it's not like oh he's nerfed he'll never see play again no it's like he's still good he's just not overpowered yeah. so anyway yeah I'm gonna start the video in three two one hello everybody and Hi. welcome back to woolly world hello everyone we're in desert world <laughs> okay that's, that's a cute reference clever one of uh, one of I, the one of the first yoshi games i played was yoshi's cookie i've actually played that game it's not terrible to be honest with you it's, it's pretty fun. good i i liked it it's fun for it what was, it is that's for sure well like my experience with gaming and I just realized you're probably... How's the gain? Oh, the gain's fine. Okay, so I might just want to move this closer. Ignore the buzzing, guys. My Nick's just moving the mic, so whatever. But it's... Oh. Oh. Away, <laughs> we, away we go. Oh, that's... That's cute. That's adorable. There we go. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. Good to good, keep in mind. I like the stuff they have in the background. My goodness, this is, again, like this game is gorgeous. It's gorgeous and adorable. Like that's like it's basically that's just that's, that that should just be assumed from this point onward. That just that just basically just applies to everything. In the game. Yeah, and that's awesome. Well, on on the note of Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, due to Patreon stuff. I'm actually in a group with the YouTuber, Gerard the Completionist. Ah, yes. And he's a really rad dude. I, I really mm. like hanging out with him. Um, I well, one of us got there. Okay, that was what you had to do. Clever. Oh, wait, can, can we go to this one over here? Because there's, there's another thing over here. Oh, yeah, throw it. Good eye, Sam. I did Thank not you. That. And we probably can leap over top and get something up here. There we yeah, go. The first flower. Flowers. Again, I wouldn't notice that. Oh, whoops. Let's okay, there's something down there. Ooh. But uh, I was actually, I, since I'm in the in a group with Gerard, 
I just, I was editing Yoshi's Woolly World and I figured, hey, I know Gerard likes this game, why not see if there's any plans for a playthrough of it? Mm -hmm. And this is not official. This is not official Super Beard Bros news. This is nothing of the sort. It's, I know the I know the guy. Who I know the things. guy. He said, "I like the game. Let's see what my buddy Alex has to say." Oh, Sam with the perfect. Thank flutters. you, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Well, not Actually, really. Actually, yeah, because I have but, videos for well, a week. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> it's in spirit, I'll be here all week. But it was actually made me really happy that I might uh, that there was the potential. Again, this is not confirmed. This is not official Super Beard Bros mm -hmm. news. I am not a Super Beard Bro. Ow. It, just, it could potentially, it could maybe. Happen. It could not happen. Who knows? There we go. We got it. Yeah. Awesome. But I think it would be really cool. This game's really chill, and it's really fun to play with a friend. Oh yeah, that was that was your that was your like your guild when he was he's the leader of that one. Uh, no, this was on a different Patreon. Thing. Okay. This, oh, Patreon. Uh, this is different than what right. I was talking about earlier. Like I paid. In the, I paid to get into a uh, paid, uh, Discord server with him. Oh yeah, and it's it's fun. Like the people in it are really good. I like awesome. hang, I like talking with them. No one's particularly offensive. Well, that's always a good thing. Well, I mean, I was in oh, another whoops. group and like, it wasn't bad. Like it's not nearly as bad as I would I see I was about to make it out to be. It could be it could be worse. It could but, be yeah. way worse. Oh, this is a neat little puzzle. Okay, yeah, let's see. Can we, oh, it makes oh, it bounces. Okay, I was worried about if it didn't bounce. That's bad. No, if it bounces, that's bad. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we're gonna get a cookie Yoshi. Oh, lovely. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely not, would not be very far from the truth if, it, if you didn't already. But yeah, that's darn cool. Um, What games have you been playing recently, Nick? Because uh, I haven't I, seen I, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV and Fire Emblem Fates. Awesome, Fire Emblem Fates. I'm still I, doing a bit of that myself. I have a bit of issues with Fire Emblem Fates, and that actually is because of how they did the difficulty. Oh, so it's... it's oh, we have to let one go up. There you go. Now you're just... Let, now you're waiting. You're good. But it it's a fine game. It's a fine entry into the franchise. It's just... Oh, this is a puzzle. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Get uh, oh, wait, that's me. That's me. That's me! Damn oh, it. So uh, close, so close. I, I wrecked it. All um, good. All I, good. I mistook myself for you, so Not I wasn't a paying problem. attention. Not a problem, buddy. I, mean, I think I might be able to go back and do it again. Probably. But anyways, it's about Fire Emblem Fates difficulty. It... Well, Conquest is clearly the hardest version because it has the most gimmick levels. Yes. Oh, darn, we can't. Oh, well. That's all right. But it, it's still fun. For sure, I, for I sure. don't like that Revelations feels like the actually complete story in playing it. Ah, uh, so there's, there's details that aren't wrapped up until you play that one. Yeah, and I know that's what they went for, and I think they did it way better than they did with Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Because with Pokemon, it's... Both versions are effectively the same. For just superficial changes. For super, yeah, for superficial changes. Like, Gen 3 was the biggest one to make a difference in that it was the villain who, uh, who changed. And that's about it, fair enough. Oh, oh. But yeah, honestly, I consider, oh. yeah, I consider it's kind of, it's an, I find it an interesting contrast where they do really like, because Conquest, Conquest is definitely the hardest because it has the most mission mission kind of objectives like you said um but it's interesting to me because it's like there's a bit of a i didn't really think about it until now but but there's also um in like um but conquest also has the most familiar characters so it's also a good stop a good start for it's, it's a good start for veterans to start with there whereas newbies it's a lot simpler from uh birthright but well birthright yes well birthright well, is a lot simpler from a newbie's perspective except for the fact that they've got harder to use character classes if that makes yeah. any sense it's all about hit and run and you guys can't you guys are a lot of you guys are basically squishy with like the ninjas uh, and everything yeah and oh Ooh. oh 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 no wait, get wait, back, wait, 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 get wait, back. no 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 we have to wait for all of them to be up yep this is this is again go really cool neat and that's why that was there. Neat sentence. Cool. Oh, are we gonna? Oh, darn it! We... Oh yeah, no, I know exactly where we missed the flower. Mhm. Mm and that was that was my fault. It's all good. Not a problem, buddy. This just makes me want to play Yoshi's Story again after this. This is great. Like that game is way more obtuse in terms due to a bunch of reasons, sadly, but it's still fun. 
We can get into a like, game. We may not the be a Yoshi games game. are always fun. Even That's like good. even the less good ones, like Yoshi's New Island. What makes that one? Th that one, it, it's because it changes the ending of Yoshi's Island. To, oh. Hey, the kids were just delivered to the wrong house. And uh, it, it come really in, come waters in. down the original's ending. Because it's like, That's sad. you go through all this, and you rescue the babies. You rescue baby Luigi, you beat yep. up baby Bowser, you beat up Kamek. Yep. And that happens. Uh-huh. But it's, it's like, oh no, but the stork delivered it to the wrong house. That's what happened. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. And it's, eh. But yeah, um, I'm glad that you got into that into that in the game, and I gotta see like I like Faith because it's got a lot of depth to it and a lot of interesting characters. Okay. Um, Remember to throw the eight. Yeah, understandable. So... All right, but it, it it's fun. Like some of my favorite unit, like Arthur is one of my favorite units. Arthur is hilarious. Well, it's also like he's super sweet, and it's not hey this hero guy is a hero guy because tragic. Mm -hmm. It's hero guy is hero guy because despite he... everything. It, it's hero guy is hero guy because he likes being a hero guy. Right. And I love the fact that he is very... He just... I love the fact that he is the comically straight man. Where it's like all this random terrible luck happens to him. But he plays it off and he is just he, totally he stoic and heroic about it. It's like when he wakes up, it's like one day it's like, like, I haven't fallen in a pit yet, but the day is young. I better be careful. Yeah, that's in like the go Ghostly Gold DLC. Mm-hmm. But definitely, I really enjoy that one. I want to be Cookie Yoshi. All right, let's go get that then. Uh, I think let's go back to the me to the me amiibo house. Uh, no, he's right here. Oh, the yeah. amiibo is only for the amiibo. Oh right, well I should have remembered from the name. My bad. But yeah, honestly, I like Arthur, and it's also I love the fact he is very thematic. Like he is undeniably the character with the worst luck growth and starting stat in all Fire Emblem games like, he, ever. He, he's the most likely character to get critical. But he's also, he, I love the fact he's also risk versus reward because due to his own growths, he's also very likely to critical people because of his personal skill and a good skill growth. So, yeah. So he's obviously really risky. I mean, there's times where I was fighting an enemy with a. Oh, yeah, no, it, it's why I play on casual if I'm planning on using him. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I've actually, I'm, I'm playing on classic and I'm still using him because it's just, it's like, it is still very, very risky, but it's like, I've had enemies with 15% crit and I, myself with like 40% crit just due to reasons. But definitely, he's really, really fun to play. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I don't know. Well, that's, a nice, that's a nice mobile. I like it. It's oh, cool. I think you might be able to flutter up here. Uh, oh. I can't see the bottom of the screen very well, so I need to see if there's a ball going on and by. Probably need, probably need that to get on. There we go. Uh, there we Wingy. go. It's one of those penguin things or something like it. Yeah. I remember from the face. I forget their names, but they showed up in other games too. Forget, I forget too. They're very strange penguins, you know that. I know that for sure. Oh, this is cool. I love these mobiles, it's neat. Alright. Again, it, it's the aesthetic of this game is gorgeous. It is cool. Like, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. It really It makes it actually feel like someone spent all the time knitting this. Yeah, and just made it for someone to read. Oh wait, oh, probably, oh. probably gonna be something. Wait, oh there's a pipe over there. Cool. Um, this might sound a little strange, but I have another game that I've been playing a lot of. Is um, it's actually a free game. Well, it's free in the sense that it's it's like it's like Dota, where the term is freemium, where like you can yeah buy, you you can pay for extra things, but you don't need to pay a cent to play it. But this one, it's actually it's the it's a free game. It's a browser game, oh! and the freemium part is not as much of an issue. It's called Fallen London, which is neat because it's not what it is. Is it's not like um. Uh, go let's go have combat kind of thing. It's actually it's a totally story based game and there's not and it's like It's not like your character is oh, like this oh, 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 or oh, like this like you start off with an unknown person and you basically just play them off however virtuous or um, Nasty or even like contradictory of a person that you want to be it's called fallen London because it involves an alternate history where London has fallen beneath the earth it's and um a lot of strange things have happened since then. Like there's, there's a place called the, uh, the called the Z, which is the undersea, uh, which is the underground sea. It's called, oh. and so there's Zaylers on the undersea. That's there's, pretty funny. Yeah, so actually. it's actually got a very interesting personality there, and it's also it's underground. So there's a lot of very strange happenings. Like there's, there's like the um, 
there's dead there's dead people like everything else but they're not people don't really stay dead down there like that's essentially it's played off a bit like a leper colony in a way because like the the um dead often take oh. often have bandages over their face just because they're falling apart but they aren't dead like when you first come to town you see like it's like the, it describes like you see the the um the, the the um gallows of the recently hanged they all turn to face you with tired looks in their eyes and it's huh. and it's very um it's very well written for story wise like it's got very um it's got very thematic storytelling and um good prose so it's pretty darn cool and um like i said it's free and it's 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 like it's called it's generated by i forget what the name of the war generator is but uh. it's Ooh. Ooh, ooh, you ooh, jump on ooh, my head. Ooh, ooh. No, no, no. We jump on this. Around the weird penguin box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's oh, just. coming down. There's nothing up there. You just want to make sure. I was waiting for the next penguin ball. Hit. Yes, I am. But that's all good. Let's continue on. But yeah, it's like. For me, the most important thing in games is writing. And I know mm -hmm. a lot of people actually don't like that. Where it's like. I don't care if the writing's low quality, I'm having fun. But it's mm -hmm. like. The biggest thing for me is it has to be both fun to re fun to remember. Yeah, like, I have to be able to remember the story fondly. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it's like a block puzzle. Oh, that's a, that's that's, that's a, adorable. That's awesome. Awesome. Wait, no, I know what we have to do. Okay, whoops. It's I'm all gonna good. Eat you. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so we mm -hmm. we want to do tongue up. Mm -hmm. Jump on it quickly. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. But any, I'm just gonna continue talking about Fallen London. It's very, like again, it's a freemium game, but you don't need to um, do it. It's a bit. It's a setup a bit like a phone game, where what you have is you have like ten actions per se, um, which you can with ten actions per day. Um, well, technically, and you have six cards, which are like things that can happen to you. You can play off. It's played off like a bit like a choose your own adventure game. Okay. The part where it's um, a bit less like a phone game because it's it's there's the fact that it's less. It's got a lot of fun stories that you need to remember, so you don't need to pay for them more. Paying for, like, the freemium part comes in, again, you can get, like, you can buy another candle. Because it gets, like, it's justified as, like, your candle running down each time you do an action. But you can get, you can pay, you can pay, um, like, a seven, seven bucks a month to get double the actions and some extra stuff. But that's, and, that's reasonable. Yeah, and the fact is, actions, and you get, you're going to get a new action as well as a new card every ten minutes whenever you play the game. So that's actually a pretty darn decent rate, considering everyone's like, you get these many actions per day and you're done. Well, no. most of the time when it's like that, it's like you get one every five hours or something. Yeah, like, like this, that. like that's the one that like, you start off the day with ten, and then you go. You get more as yeah. the day progresses. Well, yeah, you get one each ten, one for each ten each ten minutes, and you get a new action every ten minutes. So it's like, hey, I don't know what to do oh, here. But I uh -oh. fell. But yeah, that's actually it's got a lot of character. It's a bit it's Lovecrafty in a bit, and I love myself with some Lovecraft. But um. It's very interesting because, again, it's very, um, well, this might be kind of pertinent for you, but it's pertinent for everybody who's listening to be like, it's actually very gender neutral. Like, you can choose whoever you want. Like, it's kind of funny. In the oh. beginning of the game, you, in character creator, it up here. in character creator, you can, like, you can choose your gender. And here's the options. You choose male, female, or sir. Why are you asking me this question right now? There are te evil tentacled things attacking the town. Why are you sitting here hearing me asking me one of those dumb questions? And That's great. So you can be totally no, gentle. Like, I mean that. That is... Throw just kill the piranha. Sure. But yeah, that's like they like, just—it's perfectly that, genderless. Like, and that's that's a funny option that a lot of people will like. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I can't. Getting a good look at Cookie Yoshi. Ellie. I like this. That's adorable. Eee. Awesome. Eee. And that's also you can. There's also like you can seduce a start a struggling artist for information or various reasons. There's a male option. There's a female option. You and can wheel both if you want. So sweet. So yeah. it. That was a doorbell. That's weird. Sure. But it's... That's how you do it. Like, mm -hmm. just have that... Have that third option mm -hmm. for... Just... You should have that option where it's... You choose your physical appearance and then your gender. Mm -hmm. That would be the ideal. Right. And this one, it's uh, like, literally... All it pertains to you is, like, some way some people may, may call you... That, and your, your your what's called like your cameo, which is like a silhouette picture of you. Yeah. That's literally all it affects. You can, and it's like the fact is, it's like you can be called like a gentleman or a lady yeah. by your own choice, which you can change. Yeah. So. But anyway, we'll yeah. see you next time. See you around, everybody.